Hey, it's Dread. So I'm kind of hyper right now because I just had a little over half a monster. Here's the other half. Anyways, this video is about one of the times I had to deal with drunk people on the bus. Yay. Okay, so it was last summer vacation and I was riding the bus home from Walgreens after I bought some purple splat hair dye. It was, we, me and my friend were gonna dye my hair all purple. And I was bleach blonde at the time. So, yeah. that That's actually a really important point, so. Anyways, I got on the bus and there was this really old dude sitting at the front of the bus. So I sat like somewhere like far off in the middle cause like he reeked of alcohol. Like, ugh. And later on he had to get up out of his seat because they had to lift the seats to let a person with a, that sat in a wheelchair on. And he decided to sit directly next to me out of all the seats that were open. He sat directly next to me and he was like, is it okay if I sit here? He didn't wait for me to answer. He just sat directly next to me. I was like, okay. And he, I don't remember what he was saying. Like he was saying some things and then he grabbed my hands. He's like, you goth? Like pointing at my black nail polish. He's like, you goth, huh? You goth. And I was like, I don't think so. At this point, I didn't even look anywhere near goth or whatever. He was saying, I don't know. Cause all I had to be accused of that was the black nail polish. Other than that, I was bleach blonde, no makeup, wearing the most childish pajamas I had and really colorful shoes. Whew. So I was like, I don't think so. He's like, yeah, yeah, you're goth. Yeah, you're goth. And he got like this close to my face. It, like the alcohol, like, I could smell it so bad. No. And like, he's like, I got some grand uh, children. Five, seven, no, no, five, seven. And he spent the longest time just trying to figure out how old his grandchild was. I don't know, he said something after that, but I can't quite remember. But the bus driver noticed my distress in this situation. She got up out of her seat and she, she was like, sir, can you leave this young lady alone? He was like, it's okay for me to sit here. She said it was okay. And she's like, um, do you want him to sit here? I felt really awkward in the situation, so I just like, I didn't say anything, but I slightly shook my head because I didn't want him to yell at me or go all out because I know what drunk people can do. <laughs> mm. And she was like, sir, you need to move. And like, he put up the longest fight, like, I can sit here. And she was like, sir, move. And he, so he moved one seat over and he continuously talked to me, even as the bus driver kept going. And he was like, why didn't you tell her I could sit next to you, huh? That's not cool, man. And then some girls way in the back of the bus were like, dude, this you only see this at the bus. And he was like, I know, right? And they started laughing. I was like, oh God, oh God, no. And he like, some dude called him and he answered the phone. He's like, yeah, man, what's up? Oh, nothing much. This fucking bus driver is stupid. She made me move. Yeah, I know, right? People are so stupid. And she was like, sir, could you calm down? And she was like, yeah, no, now she just told me to shut up. What the fuck, man? And then he like, this is, ugh. And eventually he got to his stop and he pulled the cord and he left. He was still screaming as he left the bus on his phone. And you can hear him even as the door shut. And he was like, yeah, man, I hate this stupid bus driver. She's fucking stupid. And then, mm. Basically, we drove off and she called to the main center of the, the <laughs> She called and then she's like, yeah, this, yeah, there was a drunk dude. People, you might want to call authorities. I was just like, yeah, call authorities. This old man's drunk as fuck, breathing, in, breathing alcohol in my face. Thank you very much. And deep down, I thank that bus driver so much, but I still hate that man for just moving one seat over. <sighs> Just my luck. Anyways, trust me, this will not be the first video of my drunk references because I even had two other situations, but there are two, like, this, this one, this, this story is long enough. I will make part two or something. Ugh. 
anyways. Damn it, Dread, stop it. <laughs> anyways, bye. I'll see you next week.